everyone, welcome to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 9. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'll be going through question 9. So let's take a look at it. So question 9 is actually testing us on angles and it has two parts, part A and part B. So let's read the question first. A, B, C, D and D, B, E, F are rhombuses. D, G, C is a straight line. Okay, so what they are trying to say, uh, so let's uh, take a look. So A, B, C, D uh, are basically rhombus. It's a rhombus and also D, B, E, F is also a rhombus okay so these two are rhombuses and the line DGC is actually straight okay so we these this is actually the information that we know right now okay so let's move on okay so for part A they are asking us to find angle DBG so where is DBG so DBG so it is actually this angle over here, dBG, okay? So let me show you the step process in how we think to solve a question. So something that you need to uh, know right off the bat is that this rhombus over here is actually cut into two parts. There is a straight line cutting this rhombus into half. So meaning that both these triangles are actually isosceles. So this is an isosceles triangle, okay? So what we're going to do is to actually take 180 degrees minus 102 degrees divided by 2 in order to get this angle over here. And then after that, after we find that angle, which we should get 39 degrees, I believe, 39 degrees or so. Uh, let me just write that for now. So once we get that angle, we are actually going to do angles in a triangle so sum of angles in a triangle so what we're going to do is to take 180 minus 39 minus 127 which will give us the answer for d b g okay so that's our thought process and how we are going to do it so let's do that right now okay so the first step remember finding the base angles of the isosceles triangle so we are going to take in order to find angle B, D, G, uh, B, D, C, we are going to take 180 degrees minus 102 degrees divided by 2, which will give us 39 degrees. So this is the base angles of isosceles triangle. So this is actually 39 degrees. And also this whole angle is 39 degrees. But the other side is not so important. Okay, so let's just focus on this. So next, what we are going to do is actually take the sum of angles in a triangle. So we are going to take 180 degrees. So in order to find angle DBG, we are going to take 180 degrees minus 127 degrees minus 39 degrees in order to get the answer for angle DBG, which will actually give us 14 degrees, okay, which is actually the answer. So let me write 14 degrees over here, okay. So, for the next question, they are asking us to find angle FDC. So, what, where is FDC? So, here is FDC. So, this is the angle F FDC, actually. So, let's uh, take a look at how we are going to find the answer for FDC. So, you know this is actually a rhombus, right? And they have given us some information over here. So, let's make, use this information for the question. So how we are going to use this is actually, you right off the bat can tell that this is actually angle set a point. So what we are going to do is to actually find this angle over here, right? Because we can take 360 degrees minus 298 degrees, which will give us some random answer. With that, we know this part of the, or with that, we know the angle D, uh, B, E, F, right? And then next, it is really simple to find the angle B, D, F. Okay? For, now, we already know the angle B, E, F. 
So in order to find BDF, it's actually opposite angles are equal. So this angle is equal to this whole angle over here. So in order to find FDC, we are going to take this whole angle over here, minus 39 degrees, which will give us FDC. So as you can see, it's actually really simple, right? So that's all the step process that we need to do, okay? Okay, so let's do that right now. So first, we are going to take BEF is equal to 360 degrees minus 298 degrees, which will give us 62 degrees, okay? So this is angles at a point. So let me just label this over here. So it's actually 62 degrees. So this is 62 degrees, okay? So once we get 62 degrees, we know that this angle over here is actually not a tick anymore. It's actually 62 degrees, right? Because of opposite angles are equal in a rhombus, okay? So BDF is actually 62 degrees. So in order to find angle FDC, we take 62 degrees minus 39 degrees, which will actually give us the answer 23 degrees. So this is actually 23 degrees, okay? So as you can see, right, both of these questions, uh, both of these parts of this question was actually really simple to do. And I hope you understood how to do this question. And with that, I've come to the end of the video. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!